Things just got real. Debo Samuel has unfollowed the 49ers on Instagram. Now, he could try to pull a John Lynch and say that he did it by accident while sitting in church reading the Bible. Uh, or he can say that he followed them, unfollowed them as a prank and that has nothing to do with football. But this, this sounds really bad. I mean, it started off with Debo making cryptic comments about, I've shown you what I can do, show, you, show what you can do for me. I pointed out that that was probably about some tensions in negotiations. He blocked me on Twitter, and now he's unfollowed the 49ers. Is he going to block them too? Maybe it's not a big deal until he blocks the 49ers like he blocked me. Anyway, all jokes aside, this isn't good. I would, it seems like it's, it's, first of all, it's no coincidence that this happens the same day that Stephon Diggs gets a major extension with the Buffalo Bills that pays him $27 million a year and $70 million guaranteed. That's the going rate for top wide receivers. And it seems like what this situation between Debo Samuel and the 49ers is shaping up to be, it's going to be a lot like, it seems, the DeForest Buckner and 49ers situation. Buckner wanted to be a top three paid defensive tackle. The 49ers decided they didn't, they didn't, they didn't need to spend that much money on a defensive tackle. They could replace Buckner with someone like Javon Kinlaw. Could they make the same decision with Debo Samuel? Do they want to pay Debo Samuel $27 million a year and give him $70 million guarantee when they play him at running back half the time? Or do they want to find the next Debo Samuel? I think they should keep Debo Samuel, but it seems like it's in their nature to try to find the next one, to move on, to trade him. Otherwise, why would this be going on? If they did it to DeForest Buckner, if they decided we don't need to have a top three paid defensive tackle in the league, maybe they'll decide we don't have to have a top three paid wide receiver in the league. Kyle Shanahan is a real star of this offense. He can create more weapons. I don't know. It seems like a big freaking mistake. It seems like as big or bigger of a mistake uh, than trading DeForest Buckner was. This would be a repeat of that. Don't do it, 49ers. Whatever the issue is with the, with Debo Samuel, call him, work it out, and get him to refollow you on Twitter because he is your team. He is your Super Bowl window. Work it out. That being said, I'm not really confident the Niners will. And don't be surprised if the 49ers trade Debo Samuel before the draft. I'm sure he'll bring a lot back. A first, a second, maybe a second, second, maybe two firsts. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not enough. Keep Debo. Keep Debo.